Well, we wanted to kind of find a new way to provide service to our community. In Trenton, our, our high school has, well, our high school, middle school, and elementary, I think, it's 55% poverty, right? And it's just really hard to be able to find affordable meals. And sometimes people don't know that they actually have those resources there for them. And I think we wanted a class that would be able to teach them that you do have those resources. And we wanted to be able to help them out. Tonight we are having our third session of Crock-Pot Cooking. We partner with the Grundy County Health Department to attract um, mothers who are receiving women, infant, and children benefits and teaching them to make healthy and economical meals in a crock pot. We chose a crock pot because not everybody has an oven or they don't have a, a working oven or they may only have one burner on the stove that works. And so we chose crock pots because we wanted them to be able to actually take home the cooking vessel and replicate what we do here in class um, at their own home. We refer them basically clients that come in here for the WIC program and that's WIC stands for Women, Infants, and Children, and it's a federal program where we do nutrition education, breastfeeding support for clients. They fall into certain income categories, and they are either pregnant women or postpartum women and children, from newborn children up to the age of five. A regular class begins with um, registration, and they, they register for door prizes too and we have a welcome and a preview of what that night's meal, tonight is beef stew, uh, so a preview of what the meal looks like. Um, and then we have a cooking demonstration, and it's pretty interactive, the cooking demonstration. Um, you know, we show them what it looks like, we you know, cut up the vegetables, we, it's, it's, you know, they share, we talk, it's very conversational. Um, and then we have sampling, you know, through the magic of, of television, if you will. Um, we have the, the one ready, um, and we sample. Well, I've been everything from like the host to Vanna White showing everybody the prizes, but mostly I would do like the welcome and greet people at the door. Each week we have a raffle system to give out all the prizes, so they would sign their name on a little piece of paper we tear off, and then they would put it in a cup. Then we'd draw, sit at the back of the room and then just like draw it out of the cup, and then whichever prize we chose, congratulations, you've won a specific prize. Beyond just the recipes that they learn and the crock pot, they learn how to do some shopping and how to prepare things with simple ingredients, and they see how much cheaper it is for them to be able to do that. And it helps reinforce shopping and cooking and eating a meal at home as a family. So we have seen that impact on the clients that we serve. I think it's a, as an advisor, I think that this is a, a really great project um, for our students. We always look for things for them to actually perform the service and, and see the direct impact that they have on people, to be face to face with, with those that they are serving. And this is a great project for that. They get to interact with them, they get to know the, the people who come every week, um, and, and they get to see the difference. Last week, um, we had a, a, a participant who said she didn't have an oven, a, a stove at all. Um, she was waiting to see how much her electric bill was before she decided whether she could afford an oven. Um, and she told the story of how she'd just gotten a refrigerator and um, that, that she had gone to a used refrigerator store and had purchased a refrigerator that didn't work and had returned it and it ended up having to rent to own a refrigerator and she said, I know it costs more but I, I, that's the way I have to do it. And so I think that our kids are learning um, about the hardships of, of people who are living in poverty um, as well as some economic lessons as well as just you know how difficult it is.